Okay, so let's check out this shower here. Hmm. I think I've seen better. What's that sock hanging on there? Ooh, and that black stuff in the light. Ooh, well, I'm not too impressed with that. Let's just say I'm glad I've got a shower in the RV. friends thank you for checking out another episode of trailer trash adventures this week's adventure takes us to Thule campground on success lake in california this is our first chance to experience a u.s army corps of engineers campground which we've heard so much about this is located about eight miles east of porterville and a little over an hour drive from sequoia national park This trip was one of those, hey, I've got two days off. I've got some time. Where can we go? Last minute, uh, with, within about an hour drive from the house. And uh, we did a couple quick searches and came up with this location. Now, this was midweek. Uh, this was in the off season. So the campground was almost empty. And you'll see that as the photos go by. Um, this campground is not full hookups, although there are some sites with water and electricity. Most sites are water only, and there is a free dump station on site. Prices as of November 2022 are $20 a night for water and $30 with electric. These guys had a long trip and are ready to get out of the truck. We got site number 80. We got to the campground just before dark and able to set up just in time to catch a beautiful sunset. Grr, don't burn your aluminum cans in the fire, people. Of course, this guy doesn't mind. As with all trailer trash adventure videos, we must cover the bathrooms. So far, not bad for a Corps of Engineers campground, I guess. Um, it's definitely clean, don't get me wrong there. Um, a little beat up, could use a fresh coat of paint. I've, I've seen better, but really not all that bad for the bathrooms. Let's see what the uh, showers look like right around the corner here. Nice little drinking fountains. Let us check out the showers. Accessible shower there. Let's check out this one right here. And, oh no, I'm not too sure about this one. It's that sock there. And, ooh, the black stuff on the walls and the lights. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to be showering in here. Let's just say I'm glad I got a shower in the RV. Now, this is something that I found really weird, is that every site had a water spigot, but it was in a really weird location. I couldn't really tell if they were community spigots that were spread apart to be shared by multiple sites, or if they were just in a really weird spot. definitely tell that the water spigot in my campground was specifically for my spot. However, it was quite a distance from where you would normally have a water spigot hookup. Luckily, I was able to fill my tanks with no problem and didn't even hook up the hose. And there's Josie waiting for me for my return trip from the bathroom. Now let's get a little bit of uh, overhead shot here and we can see what this campground looks like in its almost empty condition. I 
as you can see in the distance, those were the spots that did have uh, a small number of electrical hookups. And panning over, you can see what is left of the lake. This is before the torrential rains we experienced in California that filled most of our lakes and reservoirs. So this is uh, this is what it looked what it looked like before all that. Um, not a lot of water. I never even got a chance to hike down to the waterfront. Um, wasn't much you could do anyways with such low levels. I haven't checked out any pictures, but I'm sure that lake is quite full now. In the evening, we had our traditional steak and asparagus dinner. And of course, these uh, little guys wanted some as well. Uh, next, we headed out to the dump station, took care of our business, and got back on the road. So this was a, a pretty quick trip, and uh, we thank you folks for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, check out our next video. We appreciate it.